Have you ever been in a situation where you're nearing the end of a match, you don't have a car, and you're trying to outrun the blue circle? All of a sudden you have to cross an open field, and you know it's the end, you just wonder how it's gonna go. No, I can make it! Yeah. Okay, so you jump out of the plane, and you go AFK for a moment during freefall to get a napkin so you can clean the blood out of your ears that accumulated during the 60 seconds you had to wait for the match to start. Number one, China number one. China number one. China number one. Uh, China number one. North Korea number one. China number one. North Korea, China number one. North Korea, Korea, Korea. South Korea. South Korea, South Korea better. When you're done with that, you evaluate where you're going to land so you can get the best loot with the least chance of getting caught in an early game firefight. Why did I do this? Assuming you want to win. Or you could just drop in some random location. Any loot. Hopefully this place has something. Ah. Never mind. And keep an eye out for people that landed next to you and try to remember what direction they were in. Oh, there's somebody here. Why? Or you could just go where you don't have to worry about anyone bothering you. Aw, there's no guns. There's almost nothing here. Oh, found a gun. Seriously, no boat. We're gonna die. <laughs> we'll make it, I swear. Oh. No! What are you doing, Dylan? What are you doing? There's no food, there's no drinking water, there's no way off this island, it's every man for himself! Let's go, right? Oh. <laughs> this was a great idea. So now you have a gun and good enough loot. You just need to survive for the next 20 minutes before you have to start picking off other players. So what do you do? Kill. Find an angle, hold the angle. You could sit outside of a big town that you know people will have to leave eventually. A few moments later. Or you could camp inside of a big building. No, no, shush, shush. Oh gosh, uh, somebody's gonna hear me. Ooh, a shotgun. Oh, and a holographic sight. Oh yes, a Red Bull. Good. Ooh, and there's a shotgun choke. Gonna need that. How am I gonna carry all this stuff? Oh, hey, there's a backpack. Ooh, and a smoke grenade. Okay, well, okay. Or, if you know you're being followed, you could give them a big surprise! Where are they? If you can do it, they can do it. Now obviously you know that you need a gun to win the game, unless you're a true wheelman, or the other players just got finished playing COD. <laughs> but what guns are the best, and which ones do you want during the final few minutes of the match? Here is a chart of the best guns in the game- Just kidding! That's way too complicated. I'll simplify it for you. PISTOLS! Effective at everything except killing people. Unless you're aware that the brain is a vital organ. SMGs. If you're unaware how these work, high fire rates, medium damage, and short range. In the right hands, SMGs can exceed even the highest tiers of weapons. Got him. Psh, wrecked. 
ARs are the middle slash high ground of the weapons available on this horrific island. Anyone can use them, as long as they know what they're using. They don't have easy short range use or long range sniper superiority. Wow. Speaking of snipers, they are the high, really far away ground of the weapons available to you. Oh my gosh. Two of them are next to impossible to get a hold of, and the other three are not very common. This needs to stop now. If you get one, then great. Oh, I'm hurt. But you better know how to use it. There's no room for error with snipers. You either hit all your shots or hope you're so far away that the guy you're shooting at can't comprehend the distance because COD maps aren't that big. Then there are your special weapons. I'm talking about your M249, your all-in-one killing machine, the Vector plus AK plus steroids. Finally, it's not an MK14. Hey, do you hear that? Oh my god! The in-between tier, and the P-18C, which is a pistol, but it's automatic. <laughs> then, you have God Tier, Shotgun, the common death machine. Damage rivaled only by the strongest of snipers, these cylindrical Armageddons litter the island, making it very easy to acquire and turn any of your opponent's lives into a living hell. At long range they'll be running, at medium range you can easily put them into a sleep they'll never wake up from, at short range they'll already be living a nightmare. You now know how to survive the first 20 minutes of a match and what guns to use. But what do you do towards the end? First of all, don't get hit by a car. Don't let your car get hit by bullets. Oh god. And don't let the blue death ring hit you either. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No, 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 no! I don't have a first aid kit! No, <laughs> it's all good! It's all good! It's all good! Every day another lie. <laughs> Even though you will be risking explosive death, you will want a car to get you out of this situation. And if there are others in a similar situation, just remember this simple rule. You have to get out on the left side of your car. But what if you're having trouble finding a car? Well, you could always take one from somebody. Man, we're not gonna make it unless we get a vehicle. I'm going for it. What? Sadly, people make mistakes. Oh, oh gosh, no, stop, no, no, dang it, no, ow, ow, no, really? Along with the fact that PUBG car physics aren't that great. But hey, this goes for everyone. Ah, oh, tis it be. Uh, what is this? What is this? Help! Even with all the winning strategies and helpful tips I've said thus far, you're still gonna require a healthy amount of skill to win that chicken dinner. Yes! Yes! Finally! Yes! Wait a second. Crap. Like the skill to use god tier weapons. You'll never see me coming. How to drive a motorbike. <laughs> or use a sniper as I stated before. <laughs> but there's no skill needed when using the mini Uzi. Also, if you do make it to one of the last circles and there's only one house in it, there's like a 99% chance that someone will be there already. You know what? I'm good. You can keep the second floor. I'll just 
hide in the bathroom. If there's one thing I've learned after the many losses I've had trying to come up with this flawless strategy, it's to never let your enemies have the last laugh. Yep, I knew this was Oh my gosh, do it! Somebody help?